But we begin tonight with the trial of Alec Murdoch. It was interrupted today by a bomb threat. The former attorney is accused of killing his wife and son in 2021. The courthouse was evacuated shortly before 1230 this afternoon, interrupting testimony. Our Taggart Houck has been following this. He joins us with what we know now. Tag. Nigel and Carol, good evening to you both. An unusual moment. Judge Clifton Newman asked people to leave the building. It happened in the middle of testimony in day 13 of the trial. Day 13 in the trial of Alec Murdoch began with testimony on gunshot residue discovered on a raincoat at his mom's gunshot house. Most of the residue, residue was found on the inside of the jacket, an unusual discovery. Typically people wear their clothing right side out, and so if they're in the vicinity to the discharge of a shooting, that's where the particles are going to land. On the outside? Yes, sir. But the defense said it could have been from anywhere and anyone. Yes, the only thing you can tell us is what you saw under a microscope. Yes, sir. You can't tell the story how it got there, right? That's correct. Or when it got there. That's correct. Murdoch's former paralegal said his demeanor changed after the 2019 fatal boat crash involving Paul Murdoch. I don't know how to describe it. It's just you could tell some, that it was the boat crash was weighing heavy on him and he was it was consuming his life almost, it seemed like, and he was he was just harder to reach. But soon after. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have to evacuate the building. A reported bomb threat stalled testimony for about two and a half hours. That would be 9.05.56. PM? PM. On June 7th? On June 7th. Testimony continued, focused on Murdoch's vehicle the night of the murders, a Chevy Suburban. An FBI specialist analyzed its internal computer. highlighting events where you could see List from the FBI said it took about a year to get access to data in the vehicle. He said it can't tell location, but could tell when Murdoch's vehicle was parked and when it was moving. Very tedious testimony with no real explanation to the jury, at least today. Court resumes tomorrow morning. Nigel.